Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the whole four elect, starting with the 144,000 men of Israel, which consists of the servants, the prophets, whom have been ordained since the foundations of this earth to sing this new song, which comes in the form of this gospel, which would be preached throughout all four corners of this earth and rest upon the heirs of the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children of Israel, who may be scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a brief lesson and Lord willing it'll be a you know a faith booster, you know, for you beloved Akiyam and Akwath uh, that have been allowed to uh, be part of this great awakening, this this precious moment in time uh, upon the second exodus of the elect of the nation of Israel, Lord willing we're part of that precious number. And uh, you have a you know, sure foundation in Yahweh Shai and you understand how privileged uh, you know we truly are to be able to uh, you know, be part of this magnificent, glorious light. You know, we, we truly understand how precious uh, this truth is, man. Understanding that we didn't, you know, we didn't choose, uh, you know, to walk a path of righteousness and, you know, change the course of our lives and be able to qualify the hope for salvation. This choice wasn't ours, man. Okay, this choice was uh, of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. You know, our destiny uh, has already been laid out. You know, we have no control over, you know, our, our coming and going, you know, so on and so forth, man. So, you know, with that being said, there was an, uh, an encounter, you know, the beloved Akiyam and myself had uh, this past mm -hmm. Saturday uh, with a brother, uh, a brother, uh, a Benjamin brother. I... Uh, he came across. He came by the camp. He came. He came across the truth, and then how, how it plays out. You now we had a beautiful, uh, you know, back and forth. It was, it was a beautiful conversation. You know, I will say that brother has a real humble, uh, real humble spirit. Uh, he was very, uh, he was very reserved. You know, through the spirit. You know, in an individual like that, you know, you can, you can sense that they have some type of wisdom on them. You know, an individual that's very reserved, he's, you know, he, he thinks before he speaks. You know, he understood the um, gravity, you know, of what he was doing when he came up on the altar. You know, and it was, it was a beautiful encounter, I will admit. Um, but needless to say, you know, what really, what really caught me, caught my eye. I mean, there's various pressure points in the encounter we can... You know, bring out edification on, but uh, the initial, the initial coming across the camp, how it played out, and that's when I'm going to show you Aki Amanakwa, because he was on one of those electric bikes. All right, when he came by the camp, how it played out, the words that were being spoken by the, by the beloved brother and myself, the like how it played out was so spiritual, it was so heavy, it was so heavy, man, you know, and the scriptures highlight. Highlight that form of a uh, um, scenario, you know. So I want to, you know, Lord willing, bring some edification out. Um, Lord willing, comfort the body, the church, uh, as well as myself. You know, coming to the conclusion that, you know, we're truly blessed to be, you know, part of this truth, man. And don't take it for, uh, don't don't take it for granted, man. So through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, let's start right here. Let's go to the Book of Proverbs. The book of Proverbs, chapter 23, and verse 23, and it reads, Buy the truth and sell it not. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding, which is going to come in the form of the Holy Spirit. Okay, that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. But the scripture is telling us to buy the truth. 
and sell a nut. Then now, does this mean we're able to, you know, go to a, uh, we call them cemetery schools, <laughs> okay? Yeah, we're gonna, are we able to go to a, theo, a, the, a theology study in schools, college, whatever you want to call it, and become these master prophets and, you know, these, these yeah, evangelists and, and just these great teachers that know everything about the Bible. No, it doesn't work like that. That's not what this is going into. When it tells you to buy the truth and sell it not, as a matter of fact, let's do this. I got this up in the Blue Letter Bible. All right, when you, in the Study Bible, when you get this word buy. Strong's H, 7069. <clears throat> Kana. Kana. All right. All right, when you go to the biblical usage, it goes into what? To get, right? To get, acquire, create, buy, possess. No. All right? To get, but how are you going to get it? It's going to be given to you. Look it. Acquire. All right, when you acquire something, let's get this word acquire. 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 Right? When you acquire something, you what? It says what? Buy or obtain, right? For oneself, right? Acquire. Check this out. Similar words. Because there's a certain way you can obtain something. You don't have to necessarily buy it. Look it. Come by. Okay? Receive. Okay? When you acquire something, you, it's not you necessarily going to get it. You can be, receive it as a gift. Right? Look it. Come by. Receive, okay. Come in. Wait, no, look, look. Hold on. Earn. Get hold of. Okay, but what really stuck out to me was what. Receive. Cause what does the scripture say regarding receiving anything from heaven? Let's go get it. This is the book of St. John. Chapter 3. All right. And this is uh, going into when the disciples and some of the Jews had questions about purifying. Watch this. This is Apostle, this is, uh, Apostle John speaking. And it reads... John 3 and 27 and it reads John answered and said A man can receive nothing Except to be given him from heaven and That's the spirit that they were talking about purifying Because the only way you're going to be purified Is through this word That's how you're going to be cleansed You see It's through in the Psalms What's that 119 And 9 Beth Wherewith all shall a young man cleanse his way by taking there to a, by taking heed thereto according to thy word. But you gotta be called into the courts though. The Lord gotta put the spirit on you to take heed. Or guess what? You won't. You know? So it's all through the spirit. It's real heavy. It's real heavy. And then speak, and, and, and it's beautiful because this brother took heed. All right, beginning with him turning around. Check this out. Check out, check out how this played out. Hey, you, you better count the cost, as the scripture says, man. All right. At the end of the day, man, when, when you when you sign a contract, you better read the whole contract. Right. Read the fine. What are you guys gonna do? You have a question? No, no, no. Let me write that back for you one more time. We have the complete understanding. We know what's coming. So we have to prepare our minds to be locked in for that mission. We must complete the mission. Complete the mission. You know? Hey, you, you better count the cost, as the scripture says, man. All right? At the end of the day, man, when, when, you, when you sign a contract, you better read the whole contract. Right. Read the fine... The brother Ariah had echoed 
scripture. He said what? Count the cost, man. Count the cost. When he mentioned count the cost, the brother came was coming by at that exact moment, man. And he was leaned over to the right. He was his air was picking up on it. <laughs> and what does the scripture say? All right, he heard that voice behind him, man. Okay, what does scripture say regarding that? Let's go get it. This was a very heavy. He this was a very heavily spiritual encounter. Okay, on all on all levels. Because even after we closed out, the brother hung out for a second. We broke bread a little bit. You know, hey, the brother didn't want to leave, man. It was one of those situations where you know that word. It was just like, and we gave him some information. We gave him, um, you know. The beloved elders channels you know we gave my channel you know the camp channels obviously uh, and just lord willing the spirit guides him you know we gave him the true name of the lord it's all written down on paper for him so he can see it right and the, the, the crazy thing is he was he was listening to uh, various other camps and we're going to touch on that real quick as well but real quick let me get this real quick there's the book of Isaiah chapter 30. I'm going to start at verse 20 and it reads. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction. Right, we were throwing head first into captivity. Check this out. Yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers, man. And this is why it's so important for us to be out there on the highways and byways, man. And the chief places of concourse. You know, making our faces known. You know, it's very important. Because we still have Israelites that are listening to various groups. And we're going to talk about it. Right, continuing on. Check it out. And thine ear shall hear a word behind me. And that's what he, that's what he, that's what he experienced. He heard that word behind him, man. I'm going to play that video one more time, right? Saying, this is the way... Walk ye in it when ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left, right? Continuing that straight, that straight path. You see? Regardless of which way you go. Continue straight. Okay? That narrow, that na that, that, that straight gate. Right? Let's go get that clip one more time. Let me play this one more time. That triggered the spirit. That triggered his spirit. He picked up on that. He heard that as he was coming by. His ears caught wind of it, man. You see? And when we broke bread with him, he was telling us how, you know, because I picked his brain. Let me see. Let me run it real quick. Huh? So what we're doing, I got, you know, you want to speak to him? What we're doing, we're, we're preaching the, the truth of the Bible. You believe in the Bible? You read the Bible. Really? You, you have no question, you have any question regarding the Bible that you may have second thoughts on and it doesn't really make sense to you. I'm just trying to pick your brain a little, that's all. So he listens to more than one group. Check this out. Who do you follow? Who do you listen to? We're going to get to that. We're going to go there. I just want to, I'm curious. 
I must know if I may be allowed. So you guys should. I, I, like I said, I've dipped, you know, at first I had a watch and a watch. Okay, I, here we go. Now we're getting seen, I used, um, uh, you I've seen um, GOCC. Right, right. So if you heard him, he said he listened to he heard the uh he listened to all the groups besides Great Millstone. He heard a Great Millstone, but he wasn't familiar with the doctrine. You see? He listened to those other guys though. All those other guys. We'll say it like that. You see? So I asked him a question regarding the MOTB and he didn't know. He's not gonna know. Check this out. See that? You see? And the brother Araya says, it's safe to say you don't know. We asked him, what is the MOTB? What is the mark of the beast pursuing the Revelations 13, 16? He didn't know. Why? Because he scrambled, he scrambled brain because of all those different doctrines he's listening to. So, you know, we molded him and told him to lock in. We gave him the proper information for him to do so. But this is why it's so critically important for us to be out there. There's still Israelites out, Israelites out there that may be of the elect, okay? That are still in error in the spirit. I mean, everything's in due time. That, hey, that's why the Lord got us out there, you know? Uh, from you beloved, el from our beloved elders to the rest of us beloved Akiyam on down the rank, you know? To the, to, the, to, the, to the offshoot camps abroad, man. This is why we're doing this. It's all through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, and Shai, man. We're not work. This is not in vain. What we're doing is not in vain. You know, the Lord's showing us time and time again. He's working. You know, but you see how this brother didn't know what the MOTB was. You know, he's confused. All right, and this is why the scriptures even tell you to lock into one dot. That Matthew six, and 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 this gave credence to that Matthew six. I referenced it after his 
lack of understanding regarding it. You know? And that's why the scriptures say what they say. That's why Yahweh Shai said what he said. You got to be locked into it. There's only one true doctrine. It's a very serious thing to uh, uh, stay locked into one doctrine. As a matter of fact, let's go here. I'm going to leave it right there. But there's a little bit more. There's a, a lot more of an encounter. He was there for about maybe 45 minutes or so. But needless to say, um, let's go here. This is why it's important to lock into one doctrine. And this is why, hey, we can count ourselves blessed, Akiyam and Akwa. The Lord got us locked in. All right, check it out. The book of Galatians, chapter 1 and verse 6, and it reads, I marvel that you as I marvel that ye are soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Mashiach unto another gospel. Because like I told him, there's only one gospel. Check this out, and this is going to prove it. Which is not another. There's only one truth. There's only one true gospel. And there's men on this planet that got it, that are testifying it, man. And there's men, women, and children that are believing that report. Why? Because the arm of Yahweh Shai, the Salakia, the arm of Yahweh, whom is Yahweh Shai, has been revealed unto them. Check this out. But there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Mashiach. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we've preached unto you, let him be accursed, man. Why? Because it's going to very well cost you your life. Okay? That false prophet and all you that are following behind him are going straight into the ditch. And that's what it is. It's, it's, it's spiritual. Uh, we, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashmi Ashai, this man has been, that brother has been, uh, he's been guided away from that ditch he was about to fall into. He was, he was, he was coming across that ditch, man. You know? He was coming across that ditch. And I had told him, I'm like, brother, this might be your last morning. Or the Lord might just put you out. He might delete you after this. Who knows? And, he, and you watch the account, you will see it, it was very humbling. Like the brother was very receiving, reserved, you know. And he, I, I have, you know, hope, I have good hopes for him. You know, but we'll see. Because you know how Jacob, Jacob's smooth, you know. But his spirit, though, measuring the spirit, you know, he was, he was definitely different. You know, from that from that standpoint, Matthew 15 and verse 13, and it reads, but he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone. Right. These false prophets. Right. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch, man. And that's the outcome of you falling behind false doctrine being taught by false teachers and false prophets. This is why you have to search the scriptures, like the church of Berea. You see, and this is what we do through the spirit. The Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. We know who the pastors out there that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai sent according to his heart, man. Okay? <laughs> hey, you gotta do you gotta do a diligent search. Cause it's plain once you start looking upon the table. But the Lord gotta give you the spirit. The, the eye self in order to see. So yeah, man, hey, Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath will edify. I gotta get up out of here. You know, you already know how the how the story goes, man. We gotta go, go hit the plantation. So, but you know, all through the spirit and power, Yahweh Bashmi Shai, you know that He gives us the strength to be able to bring forth these lessons, man. The water, Yahweh Bashmi Shai, for that. The water. All praise, honor, and glory. To Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath were edified. Shalom.